I heard the other day that all of these college graduates got a bleak future ahead of them right now. Because there are no jobs waiting on them right now. Because so many people that, were, that, that have experience is taking up them jobs. A folk who, who normally would get these entry-level jobs. Now, we don't know. You can't base your future on, on, on stuff. Come on. On what you think will be here. Because it ain't no guarantee. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Only yeah. thing, only guarantee we got is in Christ I Jesus. Look, 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 look what the scripture says. Look what the scripture says. The scripture says, uh, do not lay up for yourselves, what does it say? <laughs> Treasures <laughs> on earth. Well, thieves and moths and common right. steel. Yeah. But folk, yeah. folk who think that, well, if I put my money in in the bank, the bank's closed down. Yeah. <laughs> and I know about a fellow that he had his life savings in a bank down in California, and they shut that bank, and the, 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 the FDIC guarantees 100000 But he had 250000 Oh, my goodness. And, and they only gave him 50 cents on the dollar on the rest of them. He lost sixty or $70,000 of his savings. He said, I used to think I was going to be able to retire in a few years. Now I'm going to have to keep working. And then he went back a couple of weeks later and found that his, he had been laid off on his job. Oh there are no guarantees on earth. No the, the, the book says don't lay up for yourself treasures on earthly good. Amen. Amen. And we spend all of our time trying to get more stuff, stuff. trying to acquire more things, trying to to get another new pair of shoes. Amen. Amen. We care more about what we wear than what is inside of our Amen. heart, our soul. We, we care about our health. I, I, I tell y'all, I tell y'all, I, I spent a whole lot of money. Me and my wife spent a whole lot of money last year trying to stay well, All right. going to the doctor, getting prescriptions, <laughs> trying to get the test, Amen. trying to make sure we, but we have no way of taking care of those things because those things are in God's hands. Yes, yes, sir. We, Amen. we just do our little part. Yes. Amen. We do our little part. Now, there are folk every day that is that is that is cautious. They eat the right thing and exercise yes. and take the right pills and drop dead in a minute. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I ain't trying to scare nobody. I'm just trying to get you to seek something that is solid. Yes. The things that this earth turn over left and right. Hmm. You don't believe me? Go to the junkyard. It's full of everything that you got in your house. Amen. <laughs> Trust me, every, everything you got is out in that junkyard. It may not be what you got, but it's just like it. You're going to find couches, and you're going to find chairs, and microwaves, and refrigerators, yes. stoves, yes. tires, cars. You're going to find everything in the right. junkyard. Amen. Because everything of this earth wears out, yes, goes yes, bad, yes, breaks down. Yes, breaks down. Yes, Somebody takes it and throws it away. Amen. The only thing that we can take any, any real solace in is Jesus Christ. Yes, Amen. Yes, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Amen. Life is, life for y'all, y'all don't realize, but life is serious. Yes, it is. It's real serious business. It, <coughs> don't gamble your soul on earthly things that are hollow and unstable and uh, that transition, transitory. Yeah, y'all know it's a transitioning all the time. You, you can go, you can go out and and and, and you folk who like electronics, you, you you can go out and go to the electronic store and. They'll have a 25% sale off of something that's obsolete. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't buy nothing for it. They got computers out there right now. You can't buy no software for it. It's new and it's already outdated. Amen. 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 You don't believe me? Go looking sometime. Go, go anywhere you want. I don't care what you look for. It gets bad. Yes, sir. Because they're always trying to develop something new. And if you get hung up with what is old, the new is going to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. Life is serious. Yes, it is. We don't, we don't take it serious. We, we pursuing stuff rather than pursuing our spiritual health. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the stuff that's going to get us by. The, the stuff that's going to help us get by when the, 
when the nights get long and the days are too short. The, the stuff that's going to help us get by when when, when, when our old uh, faculties fell us, when our, yes. when our legs and our arms don't work as good yes. as they used yes. to. The, the stuff is going to get us by when we look in our bank account and find that we have lost more money than what we had to lose. Right. The, the stuff is going to get us by when we get scared about losing that job or when the, what the things they want you to do on that job is unbearable for you to do. Amen. Only knowing God is going to get you yes, sir. through. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Amen, because we don't know who's going to be the bar. They tell me that's 11, 12 million people out of work in the United States right now. More than that being in 25 years. And, and, and I ain't trying to scare nobody, but what keeps it from being you? Oh, Lord, Lord. A whole lot of folks still got their jobs. Amen. Even in them places where they shouldn't vote down. Some folks still got their jobs. Well, well, what's the difference? Folks folk think that God has no bearing because we're not seeking it. We think that we can do it in our own strength. But we can't even wake ourselves up every day. Amen. Can't convince ourselves to come to church and worship God. Amen. What's going to keep you out there taking care of you if you can't even convince yourself that I got some help down here and I ought to go get it. How you gonna, how you gonna take care of yourself? No, 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 no. These earthly things ain't gonna do nothing for you. Y'all, I, I got news for you. We are earthly things. Yes, <laughs> we are not spiritual until we have been converted. Until we become converted, we still uh, carnal. We're still of this earth. We still think like earthlings. Mm -hmm. We still act like earthlings. We still got the same problems everybody else got. The only thing that, that changes us, that make us different from the man on the street, is we get up Sunday morning and go to church. Oh, right. Yeah. And really, that makes us a hypocrite. Because the rest of the time, we're living just like the rest of the world. We're pursuing the gold and the silver. We're, we're trying to get everything that the world got. We're more importantly caring about the stuff of the world than we are the things of Christ. And those folk who are out there that admittedly don't know Christ, that don't pretend they don't know Christ, they're doing the same thing you do. All the difference is they're not pretending that they save for anything. And we, the ones, the children of God, with all the power, we give in to what they're doing. Amen. They convince us yes. that the way they're yes. living is better than the way we're living. And we got the power. Amen. Amen. That's how we, we got the power, but we let the world kick our behind. All right. Get us thinking that going to church is a waste of time. Uh -huh. Get us thinking that reading our Bible is a waste of time. Get, get them thinking that but we better off if we go to the playground on Amen on Sunday. And a lot of y'all got playground mentalities right now. Think we're in recess. You go to church, go to school, but you're thinking about when can I get out and go play all the time. And you get nothing while you're in school. Then you come to church with that same mentality. Don't that bother you a little bit? Amen. When I was young and dumb, and I'm not talking about teenager young and dumb. I'm talking about grown young and dumb. Uh, I thought that same way. I'm just going to school to go to school. And when I went to school and didn't get nothing, you know what I had when I needed it? Nothing. And I thought that was cool. Till I found out that nothing from nothing leaves nothing. nothing. Amen. Amen. And if you ain't got nothing, <laughs> you ain't going to get nothing. Amen. <laughs> you got that, what I call, uh, welfare mentality. You, you work real hard to get what somebody will give to you free. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And the hardest thing you do is try to stay on 